So Matt, uh, explain to everybody what we got here. What are we working with? Uh, this is a, uh, obviously an AR-15 chambered in 5.56 slash 2.23 rim. Uh, this is a 11.5 inch BCM upper with a MCMR M-lock modular rail. Um, the lower is also a BCM. Uh, it's got their gunfighter uh, stock on it. Inside, we have a Gemtech bolt carrier, which is um, ported for use with a suppressor. Um, and the bolt is a JP Enterprises enhanced bolt. Uh, this is a EOTech uh, EXPS3 um, holographic weapon sight with a uh, Vortex VMX3 T, uh, 3X magnifier. Uh, gunfighter charging handle from BCM. Um, up front, we got BCM gunfighter forward grip. Um, this is a uh, Dead Air Sandman S. This is kind of their mid length can. It's a multi cal can. You can run up to 30 cal stuff, 7.62, 300 wind mag, I think is the max on it. Full auto rated. It's a <laughs> also, I mean, obviously shoots 226, uh, I mean, a 223 or 556, and a variety of other ammo in between there. So um, I think that's about it. The lower is pretty much stock from BCM, has their uh, gunfighter grip on it. The trigger is a BCM mil spec single stage trigger. Uh, this is a short barreled rifle, obviously. Uh, it has a stock on it, it's 11 and a half inch barrel length. Um, there's a muzzle brake under there with a QD mount that that's how the suppressor mounts to the rifle. I also have a surefire scout light that i normally have on here but we're just you know doing some shooting right now so i don't have it mounted but it's a, a scout 600 um so that's pretty much it man i think that's pretty much everything in the rifle very cool now like you know i, I have an ar-15 too but um obviously mine is not quite what you've got going on here i don't have the shortened barrel and the suppressor and all that stuff so just wanted to let every you know for people who are watching just kind of go over exactly what we're shooting here and what all this stuff is just for clarification purposes so we've just been out here this morning for a couple hours or really about an hour trying to get this thing dialed in this is the first time matt's actually shot this rifle no, i've shot it before oh have you oh, okay yeah, i just haven't shot it with the suppressor oh, okay never and mind the, the bolt group and everything is also this is the first time that's been ran okay gotcha yeah. i thought you hadn't shot it yet no um, it's been shot very minimally but uh, i have shot it gotcha so i just got the suppressor not long ago so okay so we're just out here trying to get this thing sighted in. We've got a target down there about, was like, we measured 50 yards? That's a 50, 50 yards. Zero, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think we pretty much got it dialed in, haven't we? More or less, yeah. yeah. We'll do some more shooting. Uh, Matt Matt yeah. got it dialed in. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some shooting with it. I've never shot this rifle before, so let's uh let's see how she does. Have you got uh let's see what we got. <clears throat> I can barely see that dot. You have to, yeah, you, you want it when you're sighting in. I mean, you can brighten it up if you want, but when you sight in, you want it to be. How, like, how does this thing brighten? Right there, yeah. The arrows? Up, yeah, up and down. Okay. Yeah, I, when you're sighting in, you want to run it pretty low because just the, 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 that center dot is most clear. It's it's smaller, you know what I mean? Yeah, I see it a little bit. Obviously, you know, that's not. one bump up for me. Yeah. One thing I don't like about these Magpul mags is that that plastic tends to be a little sticky going into the receiver. Yeah. Uh, the metal tends to slide a little easier, but I do like these Magpuls. Yeah, I think the main main issues they've had with those is the feed lips end up uh, yeah. kind of bowing out and failing, especially <clears> if you have them loaded up pretty. You know, most of <laughs> if you have you know if you keep them stored with twenty or thirty rounds in them. Uh, yeah. I always good. keep mine with about 20. Yeah, that's the only bad. Which the newer, I only the newer keep models. like one, one yeah. mag loaded, pretty much. You know, for just in case purposes. Well, the first thing you have to do is get the guy that you're talking to to do the work. And are you saying? Obviously, it's just some round numbers, so I can put 
Trigger, it, this thing has a hair trigger. Yeah, the stock uh, BCM trigger is really nice. I'm not quite used to this trigger compared to my AR for sure. Yeah. It's a lot touchier, which I like. I mean, it's just... it's It still has pretty similar, I think, weight. It's just very clear. It's very, it comes a lot quicker. Yeah. Which means you're looking at 5,000, and then you're looking at... You see how we did? I don't even know how many rounds I shot. I yeah, okay. lost count. Go ahead and clear it. You want me to clear it? Yeah, clear the gun. Okay. No, no, I mean, I don't. No, oh. just, yeah, let's go clear and safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to walk down the range. Yeah. Lock, yeah, lock it back. Let's see what we got. Oh, you want Okay. I wonder if that's because of your Woo! shooting or. I need to probably shoot it a little more and make sure that we're not. That's a pretty t tight group right there. I I guess we still need to dial it in because I was I was dead on right there for the most part. So yeah, well it might be your shooting. Let's uh, see. Yeah, okay. I, I need, I'm, I'll do some shooting. Too, Maybe I'm pulling. It looks pulling. like it's a little high and right right now. Yeah, I think that's right. That's a pretty tight group. What I got one, I two, three, shooting, four, you know, my groups don't five, look six, like that, seven, though. eight, nine, ten. I shot eleven times. So that's pretty tight though. This little area right here is pretty. That's pretty consistent right there. Yeah, I mean, at 50 meters, I guess that's reasonable, but it's yeah. nothing to write home about. All right, then. Always talking crap, but hey, for an old army guy like me, that's uh, I'll take it. <laughs> that, that'll, that'll get you expert on the army ranges all day long, Sonny. If I was hitting like that at 300, we'd be good to go. That's a hog and beaver gun, so it's super <laughs> precise here. You know? Yeah. <laughs> He went up one on the. Let me go back down one. I'll be damned. Yeah, it does appear to be shooting a little high now. Well, that's, I told you. It's not as far right as you were. I mean, maybe I was pulling, but I mean, you're pretty stable on that platform. I guess, I mean, let's see where we are here. That's just kind of mind boggling. <laughs> it really is. We'll see if we can't get it figured out. I guess I got another. Let's go check it out. No, it's not. Okay. Are you not going to go? All right, I'm, I'm going to switch over to that bottom right. Looking a little better there. Probably could maybe. So that, that's the last one you yeah, shot. Probably could go down a click or two. That's uh, that's a lot tighter. 
So you shot you shot this one, this one. This is with your ammo? Yeah. And these were with mine? I can't remember now which one this one was. I think that was with your ammo. Yeah. It seems like it's all over the fucking place. I think that ammo that I have is running better. That would be crazy to have that much variation with that ammo. It that... can happen, man. Um, I mean, never... that is, at this distance, it is a bit surprising, I guess, but... I've never had a problem with that ammo before. It's... It's Those adjustments. It's reloaded ammo from Georgia Arms and Ammunition. It looks like to me, I mean, I, those adjustments that we have were our quarter MOA. This is 50 meters, so each one should be an eighth of an inch. Yeah, that's pretty I tight. Can, I think we can go down a couple yeah. more clicks. I'm going to give that a go. Definitely seems like these are all a little high, just a, just a hair. So we almost got her dialed in. Beautiful day today, early morning. Obviously, we're not really professional shooters. Um, we're just out here having fun. Matt's got a cool rifle, and we're just giving her a go. That's pretty much it. So, not here to try to teach anybody how to shoot or give anybody any pointers or tips or anything like that. You know, we're not. This isn't any kind of instructional video for anybody watching. Um, we're just out here having fun, and thought I'd get the GoPro out and just just get some footage and just have some fun with this. So. I guess we don't have any more, uh, should have took a target with us. Yeah, that probably would have been good. So, we'll get another one set up and see what happens. So, last group, what do we got here? Right there. Pulled this little guy, but otherwise yeah, I think he's good. That's all good as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. That's... Yeah, just here I moved up one click and over, I think, two clicks. And then we ended up in this area. But, I mean, right here, you're... Yeah. This little bit right here, that's, that's all good. These four right here are all good. You know, I might shoot this one lower so. here. Make it go over to the left one click. Anyway, we're getting, I think it's pretty much there. That's, I would say that's good for me. Good enough for government work.